Uh, state lawmakers in a mad dash to the finish line were less than 36 hours away from the end of this year's legislative session. So what does legislative leadership want to push through? Could bills that are dead come back to life? Those are the questions. Our State House Bureau Chief David Williams is here now. He spent the day scouring the State House for answers. David. Hi, Dave. We have seen some unexpected things happen right here at the State House this session, like a thought to be dead bill about CBD cannibalize another bill about guns and come back to life. Well, what happens next in 36 hours at the State House depends on who you ask. State House Speaker Republican Ryan Bosma says legislation about Indiana's economy and workforce lead their sprint to the end. Well, we've already come to a conclusion on a number of our other key uh, provisions, including funding for, for schools. Uh, we have some of our opioid, uh, both addiction treatment and, uh, and correction items that are critical to us. What isn't successful? Democratic Minority Leader Terry Gooden tells me they are not fully happy with the two workforce development bills still on the table. Those two still don't really address the issue of trying to get a ready workforce available for the jobs of today. Today, Democratic leadership told me they want education funding in focus. Still not seen House uh, Bill 1001 yet come out in the fix to the, to the, to the mess up of the school funding formula that happened. Bosma believes the heated gun debate will be difficult to agree on. Democrats say that's not resolved and they're anxious to see where it goes. There's not been much in the way of legislative policy objection to the church school uh, exemption, but again, we're working and we've got 36 hours to bring it to a successful conclusion. Last week, a bill that would lift the ban on light rail crashed and burned. Could it come back on track? I hope so. We've got our fingers crossed. That's a real discussion. And those are the really issues we need to be talking about is workforce development and light rail is, is uh, being brought into that as we move forward. It's being discussed. I don't think, again, I don't think that's a critical issue. Uh, Indianapolis made it on the top 20 of Amazon list with the current prohibition in place. About CBD oil, Bosma says it's moving, but there's apparently some disagreement among people in conference committee about if labeling should be strict or not. Representative Gooden tells me with the abracadabra, his real words, of the legislative authority, really any language that has already passed one chamber is still eligible to go into conference committee report and could become law if the majority party Republicans decide to do that. I'm David Williams, 24-Hour News 8. All right, David, thank you.